Wow. I mean, that's pretty good, I guess. Hey, Purdue gave be gave him a better game than North Carolina has given him. Jeez. And a very good Saturday afternoon to everyone, and welcome inside the Golf Club 2. I am Coaster Royalty, your host uh, for the True North Golf Society and the Saturday side games. We welcome you in. And uh, this is our second side game of the afternoon. I want to thank George for uh, taking care of the 12 o'clock noon game this afternoon as I had a volleyball match that I had to do this morning. Um, so I just returned back from that, and now we're going to get into our afternoon and evening games. Uh, here at 3 o'clock, we're going to have a brand new game that many of you might not have uh, seen streamed before. I know it's been played. I know that Fosty and Martin have played it on their streams before, um, but it's called Odds and Evens, and so it's a little bit different than uh, what you might have seen in our games before, so it's just a little bit uh, of a different game type, and so we don't even have it up on the website yet because I have totally just uh, neglected that as things have changed, and we'll get back to that story a little bit later on um, in the stream. We might talk a little bit about that and maybe <coughs> announce some stuff here at the end of this stream, but... Um, we are going to play odds and evens, and what it is is it's a team game where you and your partner are going to play specific holes. So one of you is going to play the odd holes, and one of you is going to play the even holes. And so only the, so if it's hole number one, only the person who is the odds, that score is going to count for their team. The other person will just play the hole, and it really doesn't matter uh, for the game. And of course, if you're the evens, you'll play the even holes, and only your score for that hole will count. Um, and so you'll do that, and then we'll play it. And, and Foster, you'll have to remind me, is it, is it just is it strokes? We play this by strokes, yes? Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, so it'll be, it'll be lowest round uh, for the team, well, the, for the team score. All right, the lowest total um, at the end will win, and the losing team, the worst uh, of the three, because we only have six t uh, people playing this game. We actually have seven people in the, uh, the uh, game this afternoon. I'm the seventh, and so I'm going to bow out. And we're going to let these guys play, and I'll just play around and keep up with them and keep the score and be the host like I normally am. So that's how it will work. The uh, loser will give uh, 2,000 coins. I'm sorry, the losing team will give 2,000 coins each to the random society or a random society of the five that they have in their game. So hopefully that makes sense to everybody. It's uh, not a difficult game, um, but it's one well, that we haven't one, yet uh, played. So One more addendum I remember from the last time we played this. Okay. If it's not your hole, you still have to play good because in the event of a tie, it goes to the first hole of the non-hole people or whatever. Oh, okay. Remember? That's uh, right. Yep, you're right. He did say that. Yep. Uh-huh. And like, we got screwed on that. <laughs> <laughs> if, you join, <laughs> if you join us on the Twitch stream, welcome in. We're so glad you could join us here this afternoon. We are uh, playing... The uh, second Saturday side game for the True North Golf Society, uh -huh. and we're hoping and uh, praying that we can get the um, virtual True North Golf uh, Ryder Cup there, the virtual Ryder Cup going. It's supposed to start on Tuesday of this coming week. We do have the players picked and chosen. We're just waiting on some of the Europeans to get back with us and, uh, and maybe a couple of the Americans, but we're hoping we're going to get that going, so we're really looking forward to that. I know a lot of the Americans are looking forward to it. They seem pretty pumped up, so... Uh, we'll see if we can get that going this coming week. So for now, we'll go ahead and get started here. Um, George says, let's go Team USA and European team respond to the PlayStation messages to verify that you are playing, please. So there you go. The uh, captain of the American side, which is George, Coco, Coco. And then, of course, the captain of the uh, European side is Malster or Martin. Martin will be with us tonight at 5 o'clock for the 5 o'clock side game. So we're looking forward to that. I believe we're playing Going the Distance. So that's going to be a fun one as well. So in the party with us today, I believe, um, oh, let's see, who's with us? I think we have uh, Justin, we have Fosty, we have Rich, we have George, Caleb, and Steve that are going to be playing in the game here this afternoon. And with that, the first thing we have to do, of course, is pick the teams. And we always do the teams at random. So I'm going to give all these players a number, and then we'll just pick them at random. So let me get the guys down here on my sheet. Yeah, I'm forgetting one. Who am I forgetting? Oh, okay. All right. So, um, Fosty, give me a number one through six. Six. 
Number six. Okay, Rich, that's you. Okay. All right, so you're on team one. Um, okay, Rich, give me a number one through five. One. Okay, Steve, you're on team B. Okay. And Steve, give me a number one through four. Three. Three. All right, Caleb, you're team C. Okay. Oop, making a mess. Spilling stuff everywhere. Oh, hold on, guys. Just spilt my water. Give me just a second. Making a mess. Oh. Making an absolute mess. <coughs> what I do, make messes in my office. All right. All right, let me try this again so I don't mess up. All right, who picked first? Or who was first? Guys? Rich. Rich, okay, I have to write it down. Rich, Steve, and Caleb. Okay. Right. Uh, who's going to get the next number? Yeah, I'm just getting my paper back out there. All right. Um, Caleb, give me a number one through three. Uh, two. All right, two. Sorry, right, Rich, you and George. Yeah. Oh, Oh, geez. here we go. That's it. <laughs> hey, George, one or two? Two. Two. That's Steve and Fosty. All right, Jason. Caleb and uh, Justin. Let's do this. Let's do this. Steve's been hot. All right. All right, Justin, let's do it. All right, guys, here we go. All right, so you guys can see I have me a brand new uh, headset. Thank goodness my other headset was driving me up the up the wall. I couldn't take it anymore, so I went out and bought me a, a nice, a really nice set of gaming headphones that even light up blue when I'm playing. So uh, I don't have them on right now because it's not nighttime. But, hey, that's something good for, and I can actually hear everybody, and it actually sounds a lot better than my other ones. So let's get started, guys. I'm not going to choose a random course for this one. Uh, I'm going to change things up a little bit on you guys, and I'm going to choose one myself. Uh -oh. And we are going to be playing a course called Amber Moon. Amber Moon. So no random course for this one today. We'll wait to do the 5 o'clock game on a random course. We're going to play Amber Moon. A-M-B-E-R-M-O-O-N. Amber Moon. Sounds like a stripper. <laughs> There's two here. Oh, okay. One oh, is yeah. nine holes. One Amber Moon there. Golf Club. It's a par 72, supposedly. Okay. I got it. Yeah, I got it. All right. Green speeds tees? are fast. Fairways are normal. Greens are normal. All right. So let's see here. We're going to play the black tees. We're going to mm -hmm. play pin set number two. Pin okay. set number two. Okay. All right. So here we go, guys. Are you listening? Rich, yeah. you are playing yes, the odds. George, okay. you are the evens. Okay. Steve, you are the odds. Hey, you. Uh -huh. Fosty, you are the evens. Yeah. Caleb, you are the odds. <clears throat> Justin, you are the evens. You've just joined the Twitch stream. Welcome in. Welcome in to the 3 o'clock Saturday side game here for the True North Golf Society. I am Coaster Royalty. We're so glad you could join us. And on behalf of the True North Golf Society, we welcome you in for this uh, game of odds and evens. The first time we've streamed this uh, game, Martin came up with this uh, about a week ago, and we've been testing it out in our just regular social hours at, at nighttime. And so we're looking forward to that. Uh, Kieran just came on the Twitch stream and said good luck to everyone. So good luck from Kieran. Hello there, and welcome to the golf course. Karen, Let's congratulations. You have been placed onto the, the um, True North uh, Golf Virtual Rider Cup. You were the first alternate, and we had a guy who dropped out, so you are now the 12th member. And I see right. that you've already uh, kind of re here. responded to this. the message, so you will be a part of that starting on Tuesday. 
course looks pretty good, doesn't it, guys? I had this in a recommendation in one of my uh, streams, and I thought it would be a perfect time to play it this afternoon. So far, it looks good. So I'm just going to let whoever gets in my stream here uh, will be the team playing. You probably can hear that I'm a little bit nasally tonight. Uh, I have a little bit of a cold, I guess, a little bit of um, allergies or something that's bothering me. I don't feel extremely bad. I just feel kind of congested, so... So who has the evens? It's it's me, Fausty, and Justin. Justin and Justin. Okay. All right. Is everybody in the game? I have Justin, Fausty, and George. Oh, look at that! I've got all three of the evens playing in my game. So there we go. We'll just keep it like that, and we'll let the yeah, odds do the odds. Here. So this first hole, four hundred and fifty yard. Par 4, a stroke index of 12. And if everybody's in the game, you guys can go ahead and tee it off. Okie dokie. I am using the Tour Clubs, and I have not played uh, since last night, so I don't know how this is going to go. But again, I'm not included in this game, guys. So if you're watching on the stream, I'm just going to be playing alongside these guys. And I start off with nice. a fast Should perfect, and it's headed right towards the bunker already, and I'm in it right off the bat. So so glad I'm not playing here this evening. Well, I can't get them all right. I'm, I'm not a computer. Okay, what are you going to do here? Up to you. All right, nine mile an hour wind. Let's see if I can't get this out of the sand. <coughs> Ooh, got a fast perfect once again. Is it going to be too much? Oh, not too bad out of there. Take that shot out of the sand, just a little bit off the green. Well, not bad of, that, uh, of course, the only guys who can score on this hole are Rich, Steve, and Caleb. If you've just joined the Twitch stream, welcome in. We're getting a little bit of a, an audience now. We are up to about seven or eight guys. We welcome you in. This is the 3 o'clock side game for the True North Golf Society. Uh, you're watching... Odds and evens, and we've got uh, three teams in here participating in this this afternoon. Jesus Christ, thank God this ain't my hole. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> I don't think I hit it and didn't have it up high enough for that putt. That's okay, we'll take that and run it with it. I'm not really in this game anyway. And the next hole coming up. Had someone in my uh, YouTube stream uh, recommend this uh, this course hole. called Amber Moon, so I thought, well, we'd just go ahead and play it. So let's go ahead and see who, if anybody, or what the scores are for the first hole. All right, Rich, what'd you get? Par. Par. So right now you are at even. Steve and Fosty. I got a par. All right, so you're at even. Caleb and Justin. Got a par. All right, so everyone is at even par as we move on to the first even hole. So George, Fosty, and Justin, this is your hole. It is a par five, 570 yards. This is the easiest hole on the course. And so let's see how this one goes. Got 10 mile an hour winds in the face. See if my drive is any better. It is not. It is still right, fast so perfect, and it is still going way to the left. So I am not hitting like I was last night. Boy, I was on fire last night. I shot really well in the true north, and then I was shooting really well last night if we played some rounds before bed. So not happening yet today, though. So we need to go way over here to the left. This is an interesting laid out hole. Just join us on the Twitch stream. Welcome in. We hope you enjoy the entertainment here this afternoon with the Saturday side games. Ah, there's a perfect perfect still pulling the ball a little bit today though where's this one going to end up i got a good bounce take that nice little lake here in the middle of these holes looks like george and fosty really close nice shot, george. i stopped it with nice my shot, foot <laughs> 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 another fast perfect see if this bounces once and then stops for me and it does we will take that okay for the birdie oh shit 
Red Heat 63 says, hello everyone. Welcome in Red Heat. Welcome into the uh, Saturday side game. So glad you could join us and join the stream for a little while this afternoon. We appreciate that. Hope you enjoy the entertainment. Oh, and I just lipped out. My goodness, how do you miss a four foot putt? Wake up, Dwayne. Boy, you, I'm glad I'm not on somebody's team today. This is pathetic. Nice birdie, Jason. Solid par. Well All right, for those on the Twitch stream, we are playing odds and evens, so uh, that was the first even hole, and we're going to see what George got. Birdie. All right, so they are at minus one. Steve and or Fosty, Fosty, what'd you get? Birdie. All right, so minus one they go, and Justin. Par. Par, all right, so they will remain at even par. Moving on to the third hole, this is an odd hole. So Our this goes back here. to Rich, nice. Steve, and Caleb. It is a 372-yard uh, par four, but looks like one of those holes where you have to be really careful about where you place the ball off the drive. There we go. That's a much better drive. Perfect, perfect. Let the wind take it. Is it going to get over the water, though? Barely. I get the Wilson bounce forward just into the light Ooh, rough. No good. Man, I'm playing extremely bad right now. I'm so glad I'm not a part of this game. The guy would be killing me whoever was my teammate. Nice shot, Boston. Cheers. Here's a perfect, perfect pitch shot. This should bounce once and stop. And it does not because it was in the rough. That's right. I just realized that. Oh, sweet. <laughs> For the birdie here. And sink yes. that for the bird. But again, my score does not count. So if you're watching uh, this Twitch stream and you're wondering why my score is not being counted, I'm not a part of this game. I'm just the host here this afternoon. So uh, we just completed the second odd hole. And see, so we will go to uh, Rich. What'd you get? Birdie. Birdie. So up to minus two goes that team. Steve and Fosty. Par. Par. Okay, you remain at minus one. And Caleb. I'm still putting. Okay. <clears throat> ah, shoot. And that does not sound good from Caleb. We got a bogey. Got a bogey, so they are now at plus one. All right, on to the second uh, even hole. It looks like a par three, so this is George, Fosty, and to Justin's hole. On its way. Big wind out of the east here. So we'll see how much that affects the shots. Oh my god, really? Oh, get in the fucking hole. Yes! Oh, hole in one? Oh, oh nice. <laughs> nice. nice. How about that? We have a hole in one. Good job, Steve. Couldn't Good have been job. my hole, though. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> and the sad thing is... Yeah, nice shot, Steve. Thank you. It does not count for the score of the game because <laughs> <laughs> I told you Steve's uh, been on fire lately. <laughs> um, it's got to be on the odd holes though. Uh, oh man, I thought I a D club that I still went way too long. Great shot, man. I got the birdie, Steve. Way to go, man. Way to go. You didn't eagle that, you slacker? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm able to chip in there for bird. Sitting at two under for the round. Look at that one on there. All right, uh, George, what'd you get? Oh, shit, this was an even. Oh, oh my God, I got a par. <laughs> Fosty? 30. We are at a minus two, and Justin. Birdie. All right, back to even par. I also birdied. Uh, Red Heat says, great shot, Steve. So, Let's put this thank you, Red Heat. Airway. And Kieran says he got a hole-in-one in a competition today. I don't believe you. <laughs> George says he doesn't <laughs> believe you, Kieran. Not feeling real comfortable over my uh, 
There's another fast perfect. Not feeling real comfortable over my driver today. I don't know what's going on with that. Last night I was killing it. I only went Very 300. Nice. I am on the tour clubs. For if anyone's right, anyone's wondering, I did go back to the tour clubs just because I wanted Good to see right. if I could control them because I've been hitting the ball extremely well. George, he says Karen or Karen said uh, George doesn't believe anything. So. There's a much better shot. Perfect, perfect. Looks like is it beauty. going to be the right distance it was? Is it going to come down the hill oh, now? Oh, damn it. Man, oh, that hit really that. hard off that green. Let's see if is this a uh, dark tee roll yeah, or is it just from around Yeah, it's a little oh, dark. It yeah. is dark, yeah. It's a, it's a mid, late the same afternoon thing, and evening setting, yeah. Oh, I'm famous for the lip outs, man, let me tell you. Did I play enough? Yes, sir. Right nice in the heart of the cup for a birdie. Three under for the round. So I am at three under, so we are on an odd hole. So, Rich? Par. Par. Steve? Par. All right, and Caleb? I made up for the bogey and I got a birdie. Got a birdie, all right. So up to minus one for Caleb. Very close match. <laughs> I also birdied, so I've hit three birdies on the bounce here. Looks like I am uh, getting warmed up. These are the first holes I've played today, so maybe I just needed a little bit of a warm-up. Oh, and, oh, nope. There I go, right back to the old pole in the driver. Right into the bunker. Oh, I just did too. That is not going to be a fun lie. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that to the... Oh, give me a Wilson. Oh, man, what a Wilson that was. It's probably going to pop up straight in the air, so... Yep, that's exactly what it did, and it's in the water. That's all right. Oh, Splash into the water, gentlemen. So so glad get I'm over, playing. Get over, get okay, over, get over. Kind of in some nope. deep stuff. This is the danger zone. Wow, too short. <laughs> oh, fast, perfect. I am not hitting the ball well today at all. There's another long shot. Wow, I'm going to double bogey or triple bogey this hole. Wow, look at this ball come back oh, to the end. Oh, <laughs> in. Wow, I got a beautiful yeah, roll there. The oh, so there. cool. Thank you. Thank you. I shot, George. Thank you, thank you. I think we'll save my bogey. That There's your bogey. Take that after I hit it in the water. The round. All right, so we were on an even hole there. It looks like uh, George. Birdie. Got a birdie, so minus three. Steve, or Fosty, excuse me. Uh, pa. All right, you stay at minus two, and Justin. Pa. All right, stay at minus one. All right, on to the seventh hole now, and we have Rich, okay. Steve, and Caleb. This, this is your hole. Seven. It is a par three. three. Let's do this. 185 yards. Wind right oh, in the face. Yeah. I had the distance right on. Another fast, perfect, but this one's much straighter. This one's looking good. And door, or it, they said it's looking good, and it's just going to... I don't know why John thinks that's good. Any shot that goes 30 feet past a hole is not good. And you're on the green <laughs> with a whole lot of work to do for the next shot. Daniel. Did I play enough break? No, just lift it out. I did not there. play enough break for that speed. Ah, right, <sighs> I had that one in there. Almost. <clears throat> All right, so this was there. a Rich, just Steve, and Caleb hole, I believe. So, Rich, what'd you get? Keep you par. Two under par. Five. Steve. Par. Par and Caleb. Birdie. Birdie. 
Minus two. All right. Back, job, to, Caleb. back to being very close match here. If we go into the eighth hole, hole. Coming up here. this Let's, is, uh, take your best shot. excuse me, George Fosty and Justin's hole. Move it way to the left here. There's a nice drive. Still fast, perfect though. Means I'm not going to get much distance out of it at all. It was 320. It really should have been 335. So that's how much the fast backswing gets you if you don't uh, hit it good. Definitely you can get there in two. Oh, and I pulled it. Daggone it. What am I doing today? I got the perfect, perfect, but I pulled it. Boy, that would have been the right club, too. All right, we're in the first. Oh, yes. Let's just pop this on the green. I came up short. Oh, shit. Are you freaking kidding me? Way too long on that. There we go. Daggone it. Nice tip, bud. This next one's for Purdy. So I'm able to capitalize nice. because it was a straight putt coming back. Got my birdie there, so got out of that uh, hole that I was in there with that uh, bogey par. Back to three under, so this was an even hole. So, George, what'd you get? I got a par. All right, Fosty. Uh, All right, and Justin. Birdie. All right, so you're up to minus three. So right now, after eight, we have Rich and George with minus three, Caleb and Justin with minus three, and Stephen Fosty with minus two. Okay, let's put this drive in the fairway. Really, oh really, really skinny fairway here. Could be interesting, especially with the fact that I'm not driving the ball extremely well today. Oh, my God. There's another fast perfect. Oh at least if it's a little bit straighter. Carry this fucking bunker, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> definitely some work went into this course. I really enjoy it. I, I like yeah, this course so far. Like it definitely put some time and effort so into it. This is a good course. Yes. Ah, oh, come on. Squat. Another oh fast slow. Well, that's going way right. Where did Blacks that come like from? For the rough. <sighs> well, you can get up and down from here, I think. Give it your best. Oh. Where the hell is that going? Shit. Just missed that fucking part. Jesus. This is, this is not looking good. Oh, and of course it checks up. There's damn. no way it checks up when it hits the rough. Three feet to the hole here. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, frustrating. All right, so that was an odd hole. This is hole nine. So, Rich, you scored? You're doing great. Yeah, bogey. Bogey, back down to minus two. And Fosty? Uh, no, no part. Steve, I got a part. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, Steve. I'm sorry. Yeah. Caleb. Par. All right. So right now, Caleb and Justin's in the lead after the front nine. If you're just joined us on the Twitch stream, welcome in. Welcome to the hooking slice. This is Coastal Royalty. You're watching the Saturday side games on the True North Golf Society's television network. That's what I'm going to call it just because it's fun. Um, but we are playing uh, odds and evens tonight, something completely different uh, that we haven't played yet before on the stream. So having a lot of fun with it. we got three groups, uh, three teams of two in here this afternoon. I'm just playing along with the guys, really working on my swing here with the tour clubs, really pulling everything to the left. As you guys can see, there's another one. The wind was taking it to the left. It was more straight there. But So once again, so glad you guys could join us here this evening. 
on this Saturday, the, uh, okay, one of the first Saturdays. It's really starting to feel like out fall here. out there. We want to keep Ford in our prayers, of course. We have uh, some guys. I know Rich is here, and right now he's still able to play. I know he's over in the Miami area, so it's kind of going away from there, isn't it, Rich? Yeah, so far. Knock on wood. That's perfect. Is the wind going to do its job? Beauty. Yes, it is. That's going to be really nice and tight. Take that shot. All right, Good solid job, approach George. shot. We can two putt from here. I guess. Ten footer here. I think this can go. <clears throat> oh, man. Able to sink that birdie after the nice approach shot, which will take me to four we'll under par. Four under for the round. All right, so that was an even hole. George, what'd you get? Birdie. All right, minus three. Fosty. Pa. Par and Justin. Par. All right, so tied at the top again between Rich and George and Caleb and hole Justin. Hole 11, a par four, 388 yards. It is the 15th hole uh, in the stroke index. So one of the easier core, uh, holes on the course. We got a nice waterfall. Over here to the right, that's a nice feature. Did a really nice job with this course so far. I really like it. Oh, yeah. Another pull. This is going way nice. left. Nice. Should be in the fairway. Very fast. What the fudge? Did get a Wilson bounce there. That's right up by Jimmy. Yeah. Sharps is between Coco and uh, Port St. John. Where the prison is. You know the prison you drive by? That's Sharps. Shit. Oh, man. I thought that was going to check up. It did not check up after it hit out of the rough that time, unlike the last time, which oh. it did. Okay, we're putting from around 15. I, I didn't even think about that when I did it. Did I play too much break? I did. I knew it when I hit it. Oh. I am killing this. Just not playing very consistent golf here, here today, hole. guys. Can't get a birdie on my hole. There we go. So I gotta keep my one. par there. All right, to Rich. Oh, tight, so. Bogey. Bogey, minus two. Uh, Steve. I got a par. All right, and Caleb. Par. All right, so you're back in the lead, Caleb and Justin, at minus three. <laughs> this course is uh, tending to play a little bit more. Ooh, there's another waterfall over here to the left. Not a great waterfall by any stretch of the imagination. That's a freaking fast. What if I wish I knew what I was doing here. Check. Hey, man. Kick left, kick left. Oh, I'm pulling everything today. That's got to stop. Sit, 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 sit. Got to figure out what I'm doing wrong. To look at my controller here. Oh. Nice, George. Oh, nice pot, Jason. Thank you. Damn it. All right, nice little two-foot putt. Well, you you could have had a birdie there. I, I think you. All right, that, George. But uh, next time. Birdie. Minus three. Drop. You go. Okay, so that'll keep you. Uh, under for the Birdie. Minus three. You go. And Justin. R. All right, so we have a three-way tie after 12. So here we go. Brand new game. Last six holes, gentlemen. Rich, Steve, and Caleb. This is a 604-yard par five. So this could be real interesting as we follow the lake here on the right side. George got very close to the water. Yeah, I'm following him. All right. I pulled it again. Man, this Looks is frustrating. Looks like you'll be in the short stuff here. Frustrating. Very. very. Frustrating. 
was not playing like this yesterday. It's amazing how it's like real golf almost. For one day you have it, and the next day you don't. Yeah. I guess that's what makes this game so amazing. Is that they've done a good job of getting the real life feel of it. Oh my gosh. Where is that going? I hit that perfect, perfect, and straight, and it's going to be in the bunker. There is no way. Where is that going? Jeez. It's unbelievable. Whatever. <laughs> All right, let's see. Perfect, perfect. Ooh. Out of there again. Finally got us a point. Well, there we go. Better shot out of the bunker that time. Okay, solid approach. Dang it. This is for birdie. Oh, yeah, out of the sand. Oh, out yeah. of the sand. All right. Well so, Rich, what'd you get? For the round. Birdie. Minus four for you guys. Steve. Nice. Birdie. Minus four for Steve and Caleb. I'm still going. All right. Come on. Ah. We bogeyed. Down to minus two. All right. A big two-shot swing there. Right, three, so we are now perfect. on the hole 14. This is a par three for George, Fosty, and Justin. Oh my God! Wow. That's unbelievable. It's a fast, perfect again, and I'm going to come up. Short, but I am going to pop on the green. That Boy, that fast, did not break. Boy, that fast perfect. Oh my God, really that did not break. Swing. You gotta be kidding well, me. On these that tour clubs, break at all. if you're not used to them, that fast will always hurt you. Look at this ball continuing to roll down the hill. Uh oh, Such wow! There it continues to go down the hill. Oh my God! Oh no! Oh, oh, shake it off, shake it off, man. Uh, you're yes. entitled to one. On the green. Wow. A lot of work to do now. That is All right, insane. 34 feet to the hole. I can fuck. Jeez. Is that going to get to the hole? It is, and bang. That's a solid what a putt. What a putt. 600 for the round. Courtesy of George's teaching methods. <laughs> 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 Uh, George, what'd you get? <laughs> I bogeyed. Minus three. Oh Fosty. I bogeyed. Minus three. And Justin. <laughs> All right, so you got one back there. Could have been All right. Hole coming up. Rich, Steve, and Caleb, the 15th hole, a par four, 430 no. yards. Where was my friggin' draw? This is right, John. There we go. Ah, back to that fast perfect. Good. Yeah, I'm not just holding <laughs> it long enough. That is going to stay on the fairway, hopefully. And yes, <laughs> take that 300 yard drive. All right, we're right around 125 yards out. There we go. Much better. Perfect, perfect. That was better tempo. For the green and here. as long as it doesn't check up too much, that's not too bad. Has some pretty nice shots in there from the guys. Okay, we're putting from around 15 feet out. Knock it in, knock it in, knock it in. Oh, no well in, Steve. Oh, I did yes, not pick it up high enough on that one. Wow, that was really bad. That's some really bad golf there. Four feet to the hole, you can do this. Yeah, we'll sink the par ah, you're playing back. good, brother. You're playing good. 
and that'll keep you at six under. All right, so this is an odd hole. Rich, what'd you get? Par. Par. Steve. Birdie. All right, you're up to minus four in the lead. And Caleb. Birdie. Minus three. Oh, boy. All right, so still close going into the 16th hole for George, yeah, Fosty, and Justin. This, uh, par five. Is a par five, 540 yards. Looks like a left to right or off the tee box. John said, "Boom, just, just boom." boom. Yeah, he, just, <laughs> he just said, "Did you just use Thor's hammer?" There I go down the hill past like the guys. <laughs> oh Jesus! Another very fast. What the so hell is going on here? And it hits a tree. Oh, lucky didn't go in the water. Here. I don't know if that was lucky or not, actually. Oh, no, I didn't want to hit down there. Ooh, I got a fast perfect again, but the wind should do me right. And get up, go. Oh, look at this shot. Yes, sir, we will take that off the bounce. Absolutely. For those still watching on the Twitch stream, you're watching the Hooking Slice. This is the Saturday Side Games for the True North Golf Society. I am Coaster Royalty. So glad you could join us on the stream this afternoon. We are playing odds and evens. Uh, the teams of Rich and George versus Stephen Fosty versus Caleb and Justin. Right now, Stephen Fosty, you have a one-shot lead over the other two teams. Getting really tight here towards the end of the match. My, did I play it up high enough? Yes, I did <sighs> not. Oh! Don't get too down on yourself. What? Nice and and all. Uh, get your birdie I did coming not up. either. I will take nice. the birdie though and go to seven under par. Sitting at should have been an eagle. For the round. Oh, that should have been an eagle. <laughs> yeah, just like it, didn't, it stopped breaking. I, I didn't. That was weird. All right, uh, George, what'd you get? I got a birdie. All right, minus four, Fosty. Pop. All right, and Justin. Birdie. All right, three-way tie, mm -hmm. gentlemen. Three-way <laughs> tie. Oh and right now, Yo. right now, seven Justin nine. is playing extremely well. He's tied with me he at is. minus seven, so yeah, keep that up, Justin. Great. Especially keep it up for the uh, Ryder Cup, that's for Ryder sure. Ryder Cup, you're damn right. I'm going undefeated in the Ryder Cup. No. <laughs> that's hey, the attitude, baby. <laughs> <laughs> There's a nice drive, perfect, perfect, right down the middle. Oh, no. I'm not playing in the Ryder Cup, so people can't cheer for me because I'm not playing. So uh, People want me to play, but I'm not playing. So. Why? Uh, because I'm running it. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> well, yeah, besides that. <laughs> well, I know. Jesus Christ. Jeez, George, where are you going? Dude, I'm telling you, this slow shit is pissing me off. Oh, you're man. still on the tour clubs. I didn't realize that. No, I'm not. I'm oh. Not. It's coming over to the fucking player clubs, man. I'm getting really irritated. I've got a lot of fast oh, perfects tonight. Break. Oh. These non-breaking oh. greens are killing me. Sit, 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 sit. We'll take that. Nine footer here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, come on. Oh. Red Heat says, great cool, contest, cool. guys. Red Heat, thank you for sticking around, buddy. Hope you've enjoyed the match. Yeah, they're oh playing God. excellent golf. It's really fun right now. Oh, my God. George is having a little bit of, a, have a, a little bit of a, an issue, and I know most of us are really excited about that. <laughs> I'm not. No, not for the right <laughs> way. No. I help. Nor is I Rich because they're much, teammates, yeah. So I just birdied again, so that moves me to eight under, and it looks like Mr. Justin has birdied yet again, <laughs> moving them to five under. Uh, no, I'm sorry, this is Caleb's hole. My fault. Caleb, what'd you get? Par. Par, okay, so you stay at minus four. My fault, guys. All right, Steve. Uh, par. All right, and Rich. Was that mine, Par. Yep. All right. So going to the 18th hole, all tied. Wow. Never expected this, but what a match this has been. 18th hole is a 412-yard par four. It is the seventh most difficult hole on the course. Uh-oh. 
really, really small landing area for the, for oh, the driver God. here. Fucking Jesus. Oh, and I have pulled it way left. Daggone it, that's going to be in the bunker. Yeah, I think all three of us there so far. Woo! <laughs> wow. Well, we we got to worry about Fossey. I'm in, in the middle. <laughs> I hope this gets over. Alright, I'm just going to take this and hope that it gets over there. Oh, sit down. Go, baby, go! Oh, I feel oh, fast, sit. fast, so that's not ever going to be good. That's way left. It would have been the right club had I hit it straight with the right tempo. Looks like I'm going to par this hole, maybe, and maybe even bogey it well, to sand. end up the all, uh, match. Oh, yeah, this is going to be nasty. Uh, Boom! Oh, he freaking made it! Come on! Boom, baby! <laughs> nice shot, man. <laughs> Way to go, Justin. Best. Way to go, man. I'm going to definitely bogey this hole. Where am I going? Oh, and I missed it. Son of a... Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Damn it. Uh, Let's go back on the green and finish the hole. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Good job, Justin. Good job. Okay, well, so we'll we'll save my par there or away off Good the green shoot, putt, man. but we'll take that. Stay at, uh, finish the round out at eight under par. I'm definitely going to give this a, a five on the rating, and I'm definitely going to favor it. Very nice course. All right, Justin ended up with minus nine. That moves him to wow. five under. Uh, Fosty, what'd you get? Uh, Par and George. Par. And so the winners on the 18th hole. Congratulations to Caleb and Justin. Justin, is that Good your job, first win? Guys. Well played, well played, well played. Yeah, Caleb, <laughs> is that your first win? That's my first win. Wow, congratulations to both of you. So you guys will receive 75 right. points towards the True North Golf Cup um, for winning this side game. And we have, um, unfortunately, two losers here this evening. So we have to go back to the first hole. And the non-playing people for, uh, let's see, so it'd be, it would have been George and Fosty. So I've got both those on my <laughs> scorecard. That's so. why I brought that. That's why I brought that rule So up. it looks to man. me like George is the loser. Woohoo! Oh, man. George, <laughs> George and Rich are the wow. I, unfortunate losers of this side game. And uh, Red Heat says, well played, everyone. So once again, congratulations to Caleb and Justin. And Rich and George both have to give 2,000 coins to a society. So, Caleb, you tell give Rich a number one through five. Three. All right, three. Quick hitters. Quick hitters so for Ben. Wow, right. again today. And Justin, okay. give give a number three. one to five for George. He says three. That will be... Well, since I can't, I'm not putting my society down, so that's quick hitters. Quick hitters, there you go. Wow. wow. All right, Ben is uh, living it up there. So at this time, what I would like to do is, of course, I'll do this uh, throughout this evening. Um, did want to go ahead and make this announcement to people on the stream. Um, we've had a little bit of a change in the True North Golf Society. Uh, Tim Wilson, UK, of course, you know, was the president of the society. He has decided uh, to step down of that position. Um, he still is going to play the game, so don't think he's going anywhere. Um, but he has pretty much decided that... Uh, he just doesn't want to run things and, and that stuff. And it was, and actually, um, the, the society was just going to go away um, after this season was over because Tim wasn't going to do anything else more with it. Um, wasn't sure what we were going to do with the Virtual Rider Cup. And so he pretty much offered um, the society to me. And so after about a few days of thinking and talking to George and talking to some of the guys that are on here like Rich and, and Fosty and some of the guys that we play with all the time, um, I have decided to accept the position as the new president for the True North Golf Society. So I will be uh, doing that. I will keep continue running the things that we're doing. Not a lot is going to change here um, for the second season. There will be some changes uh, moving forward for the third season. But, of course, that won't take place until we get to November and we get towards the holidays um, here in the States. So, um, but just to let you know that that, that has changed. Um, Tim's not going anywhere. He's still going to play. I mean, it's nothing going to change really all that much. So it's not like there's going to be this big, huge 
like, you know, turning it over and turning on a new leaf. It's really going to be the same thing. I uh, just wanted to make everyone aware that that is what's going on, that I am now the president of the society. And we are going to be having a board of trustees, um, like a real club, um, because we know that coming down the line, there will be decisions that need to be made about people who are in the, uh, in, the, in the game for cheaters and for people who are shaving strokes, people who are stacking their handicap. And there is coming down the pipeline at HB Studios, the ability to kick people out. So well, I don't want to do that just by myself. We're going to have a board of trustees. They're going to make decisions on that, make decisions on tournaments. Um, they're going to have positions. We're going to have a tournament director. We're going to have all these different things. Um, I don't like to micromanage, but I think I would like to run this society kind of like a true club to where it's not just one person making the decisions. Um, and so we're going to be having those positions filled um, over the course of this weekend as well. Um, and so just wanted to announce that to everyone. Hope everybody is okay with that. Hope that doesn't make anybody want to leave that, uh, just because to just understand that Tim's still around, he's still going to be doing streams and all of that. He's still going to play in the true North golf virtual Ryder cup. So nothing like that's going to change. It's just really as someone else that stepped in, um, to run the society. So, um, with that, uh, that will wrap up our three o'clock edition of the true North golf society side game of the, uh, Saturday evening. Uh, we are going to have yet another game at 5 o'clock as we have a full boat of uh, people who are going to join us this evening at uh, 5 o'clock. We're going to be playing the brand new game called uh, what are we playing guys? Uh, oh, going, going the distance, distance, which was the going game that was created to defeat George, but unfortunately it backfired on Martin <laughs> as George wow. won the game last time. So uh, we're going we're gonna to see how that works at five o'clock as Martin will be on. So that will be a heck of a good time because I believe Fossey is going to stick around and play as well. So we'll have some, some British players in there as well as some American players as well. So uh, for everyone inside the stream here this afternoon, for Rich, George, Steve, Fosty, Caleb, Justin, I am Coaster Royal to you have been watching the Hicking Slice here and on behalf of the True North Golf Society. And until next time, we hope you continue to hit them straight and good evening.